hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to create uh, this level uh, dialog window uh, sorry uh, level dialog uh, ui so uh, to do that if you are following my videos uh, you will find these assets in your assets folder the link is in the description you can download it from there and in here you will find a folder called ui and in that we have different images of ui that we are going to use now first thing that you need to do is go to your canvas and uh, in here create a new ui image and uh, name it level dialog as you can see right here now uh, scale this on the screen but uh, before scaling uh, what you need to do is you need to go to this uh, folder and uh, drag this panel image onto your source image now after that uh, check the preserve aspect button and click on the set native size now after that uh, you need to uh, click on this rect tool and make sure to uh, all the set all the the uh, anchors with this uh, blue dot corner so uh, so this will make sure that your uh, level dialog should appear constant in all the screen resolutions now after that in here i have a text called level status and i have another text called coin score so this is level status and this is our score so level status will tell us whether the level is cleared or level is filled now after that you need to create another empty game object so uh, just click on the canvas and create empty and uh, put it inside the level dialog child now uh, scale it like that so uh, increase this its size to match this level status and in inside stars holder game object click right click on it and go to ui and create an image and i named it left star now you will find the uh, star image in your uh, assets folder drag this mid star onto it and make sure to set this uh, its rect transform by clicking on alt and shift and click on this left image now uh, this will uh, align it to the left now duplicate this image and um, center the second image by uh, holding alt shift and clicking on this center image after that duplicate it and place one at the right most side now after that this is actually done so now you can see that we can enable and disable this whole dialog by just enabling and disabling this level dialog image now after that uh, what you need to do is uh, we need to show this image so what we are going to do is we are going into our player script and in here so in the chicken destroy coroutine that we wrote in the previous video we will uh, simply uh, show this level dialog but how we are going to show this we are going to create an another, another script so what you need to do is go to uh, your hierarchy and create an empty game object by right clicking on that and create empty and name it ui handler and on that we are going to create a new script called ui handler create a new script and assigned it to this ui handler game object now let's open this ui handler and in here we have a function called low show level dialog and it is going to take a two arguments one is the status whether the level is cleared or filled and second is the scores so uh, we need to get the reference of the level dialog to uh, 
access its set active property so we are creating a public game object called level dialog and similarly its level status and score text now you will notice uh, this property here uh, this uh, variable uh, it's a static variable of that class so we are uh, going to uh, uh, follow the singleton pattern in that so uh, just create this public static ui handler which is the same as the class name and create an instance in and create a wake function and uh, in here we are checking if the instance if this is null then assign the instance to equal to this so make sure that this has only one instance now after that in the show dialog we will uh, get two arguments we are first setting the show dialog set active to true and we are changing the level status text to whatever status we received and same with the score text whatever scores we received here now we are going to call this function in the uh, kitty uh, script where our level is cleared so now we can access the show level dialog by directly ui handler dot instance because instance is a static variable so we don't need a reference or object to access it and by using that we can call our show dialog show level dialog function and in here we will put level clear and whatever the text we had so what is this score text score text is basically a text variable right here that we defined here now this score text is going to take the reference of this score that we uh, implemented in the previous videos now this text is right here now simply uh, go to ui handler and assign so actually yes we are going to assign this score text to our kitty object so here is our kitty and in the script you can see that we have assigned this score text to here so we can access this score text and send it to our level dialog now after uh, taking this public reference we are simply when showing the uh, when passing this score text we will simply uh, use score text dot text and send it to our show level dialog method now uh, this is the level cleared status now we also need level failed status so when our level will be failed if our player is if our player collides with our enemy character so in the on collision 2d enter 2d the function we wrote in the previous videos we will simply call this ui handler or instance show dialog and we will simply instead of level clear we will simply put level failed in here now uh, save this and uh, before playing make sure to check this kitty that all the public references are assigned and same in the ui handler make sure that all the function all the uh, variables are assigned and level dialog this is the level dialog that we have assigned now by default this level dialog is going to be disabled and let's play the game Now when I collect the coin you will notice that our text is updating so this is right here so in the kitty in our player game object in the on trigger when we are uh, collecting the coin we are simply uh, updating the coin text that right here now we are simply uh, saying score text dot text is equal to whatever scores we currently have add 5 to it so if the scores is uh, in the start 0 we will get the score text and parse it to integer add 5 to it and then convert it back to string and assign to our score text variable as you can see that we have 5 and we are going to 
put all our chickens into the home and now you can see that we have a message called level cleared and the scores we earn now in the next video we will uh, uh, put uh, the stars functionality how to uh, give user one star two star and three star based on the coins collected by user